guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Ringside Collectibles.com exclusive Elite Flashback Brett the Hitman Heart. This is based on when Brett won King of the Ring. This is a very unique Brett Hart. I don't think Jax ever made him in this outfit. I think his attire uh, might have been a Jax figure, but not with like the robe that he's wearing. And the King of the Ring outfit, which is very, very cool. Um, I honestly don't really remember this moment as I was probably very little at the time, but it was very cool just even reading about it. And uh, yeah, I'm just very excited to get another uh, new Bret Hart. So that being said, let's take a look at him in the packaging. As you can see, it's very colorful. I love the black and pink with the white. It even has like the leather uh, design on it, which just makes it look more authentic. It's really cool. You can see Bret here. It's got the staff there, even a purple King of the Ring with the logo back there, uh, like uh, background behind him, which really makes it pop. I think the purple looks really nice. There's a picture of Brett here. It says his name on that side, and on the back it has a little uh, bio about when he won. So it's cool, and then there's a picture of him and some statistics as well. And uh, like I said, I got mine on ringsidecollectibles.com. You could save 10%. With discount code MBG on all your current and future purchases, it will save you some money and support yours truly. So thank you to all of you, as always, for using it. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the King of the Ring Bret Hart figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I would say it's a pretty awesome figure. I really love the detail in his robe. Um, unfortunately it is rubber, but um, the detail on it obviously, which is why it's rubber, is uh, very, very cool. And uh, I'm always excited to get a new Bret Hart figure, it just reminds me of my childhood in general. So I was very excited, as I said. Um, but before I show you him up close, I just want to show you the backdrop from his package. Which I think is pretty cool. Sorry, it's kind of hard to maneuver with the camera here, but you can see it's just really cool, nice background you could display figures with it like this. Great display piece if you display your figures in general. So it's just very cool and plus you could put it with any King of the Ring guy I guess if you wanted to even though it's really based on that specific King of the Ring and it changed as years went on. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at Brett up close. So here he is in his robe. Here's his hat. Or his crown I should say, not his hat. So the detail on the crown itself is very very nice. I believe it's similar mold to the Jerry Lawler one, but I don't remember off the top of my head as I haven't looked at that figure in quite a while. But it does come off his head. It's like a thinner rubber, so it grips his head very easily. Then he has his uh, staff here. I believe that's what this is technically called. And this is like a thin rubber. As you can see, it's flimsy. But the detail on it is very nice, and it sits securely. Uh, in his hand, and then has like the uh, detailed uh, bottom there as well. And then lastly, look at his uh, robe. So the detail on this is great. It is a very thin like rubber as well, so it should be easy to get on and off. But the detail on it is just really, really cool. And then you just slide it off like that. There's the back of it without him in it. But as you can see, it's very flimsy, which is good. And then here we have Brett. So this is what Brett looks like. Love the outfit. I love the pink. That'd be cool if they... Uh, I think there's a Jim Neidhart that had a similar outfit as well. Um, so it'd be cool if they make another Jim like this to go with him. Uh, but anyway, looking at his head scan, it is, I believe, the same scan that they've been using for a while of a younger Brett. I like the wet hair look, the, um, the bangs in his eyes, like that. And he's got his pink attire. It looks like the logo is a little off center on mine, unfortunately. Unless it's purposely like that. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do some homework on that afterward. But it doesn't look too bad, I guess. And he's got the thin black elbow pads. They don't restrict his elbow movement a whole lot, which is good. They do a little bit, but not too bad. You can see the detail in those, and the detail in his tights, of course, which is really, really cool. It says Hitman on the side, on this side as well. And then there's the hearts here. Then he's got the thin 
knee pads that thankfully don't really restrict his uh, knee movement too bad as well. And then the swivel boot joints and then the typical elite ankle joints that go up and down and the stars and pink designs on his white and black boots. So overall it is a really cool figure, I like it. Highly recommend. If you missed out on the Defining Moments Bret Hart, I'd say this is probably his uh, next best one to get. As I didn't really like his uh, previous Elite one that released. Uh, but this one's really cool. Highly recommend. Uh, you can get it on ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code MBG to save 10% on your purchase. And be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.